Zotero is a free, easy to use tool to help you collect, organize, cite, and share research. Zotero uses a browser extension to automatically sense research on the web, allowing you to click the extension button and then save it to your Zotero library. The Zotero library helps you organize your research any way you want. You can sort items into collections or folders and tag them with keywords for easy searching. Zotero can also create references and bibliography entries by downloading the Microsoft Word extension. You can format your work to match any style guide such as MLA, APA, or Chicago that you would like. This video will walk you through the initial setup steps you need to get started using Zotero. To get started, go to www.zotero.org slash download. When on the download page, we are given two options. One is to download the main Zotero app for Windows or Macs, depending on which computer you're using. I'm on a Mac, so Zotero automatically senses that this is the download option that I should use. For Windows users, you'll see Zotero 5.0 for Windows. The second thing to download is the connector for your browser. It is highly recommended you use Chrome for the best experience with Zotero, Microsoft Word, and our library databases, but you can download an extension for either Safari or Firefox as well. Let's get started with the first step, downloading the Zotero app. Click the blue download button in the box on the left. The download should start automatically at the bottom of your screen. Let the download finish and let it sit down there while we do step number two. Step two is to install the Chrome connector. Go ahead and click on the blue button that says install Chrome connector. This will open up the extension section in the Chrome web store. Click on the blue add to Chrome button. You'll be asked to confirm that this extension can be added to your Chrome. Once the extension is enabled, you will see the Zotero page icon appear in your extensions list in Chrome. Now that we have the app and extension downloaded, it's time for step three, registering or creating an account with Zotero. In the upper right corner, click on the blue register link. Registering for Zotero allows you to create an account in the cloud so that you can access your Zotero library from anywhere. Enter a username, an email, and password you're likely to remember. This doesn't have to be related to your Gordon account information, but I recommend you use it if it's an easy one for you to remember. Once you've entered in your new registration information, click on the I'm not a robot button and then the blue register link to confirm your registration. Once you've registered, check your email for an email from Zotero. It should look something like this. Click on the link or copy it into your web browser to confirm your email address. Now that we have registered and installed the Chrome connection and started the download for the app, let's open the downloaded Zotero file that's sitting at the bottom of our web browser. This next process will be slightly different for Macs versus Windows machines. For Windows, follow the steps that appear on the setup wizard and choose the standard setup option. For Mac users, continue watching as we work on installing the app. Once you double click on the Zotero download, a file will appear that allows you to drag the Zotero icon into your applications folder. You can see a message pops up for me that it wants me to either keep both or replace because I already have Zotero on my computer. I'm going to go ahead and click replace. Once I've dragged the Zotero icon to my applications folder, double click on the blue folder to open up applications. You'll see that Zotero should be the first one on your list because it's a recent download for today. Double click on Zotero to open up the library. It will ask you to confirm, are you sure you really want to open this because it's something from the internet? And yes, we do. Now, when you open up your Zotero library, it will be completely empty. You're likely only going to have this big Masters My Library link up at the top. In each of these columns, the ones on the left, the one in the middle, and the one on the right will be empty. Now you can actually start creating some of your folders and your collections within your Zotero library that you can start saving resources to. If you'd like to add a new folder to your Zotero library, use the folder icon in the upper left corner of the page. A little box will appear and you can title it whatever you'd like. You can then start saving articles such as this one here, which is an example of a scholarly journal article in one of our library databases, Academic Search Complete, using the newly installed Chrome extension. Remember, that little icon will look like a piece of paper, but this icon also changes based on the type of content that you're looking at. Sometimes it might be a piece of paper, other times it might be a book, or maybe even a little video icon if what you're looking at is a YouTube video. To save it to your library, go ahead and click on that icon and you'll see that it starts saving to whatever folder you currently have highlighted in your library. In this case, it's the newest folder that I just added. And you see, if we go back to our Zotero library with that newly added folder, here is the information about that article that I just added. As you add new articles to your library, you can view a list of all folder contents within the middle viewing pane. And if you highlight a particular article, 
over on the far right column, you'll get information about that article that you saved, and also you can add things like uh, notes to a particular article if you want to make comments to yourself to remember, or add specific tags to help you later search for this article within your Zotero library. So we're almost done setting up Zotero, but there are a few things that you want to set up under the property section to make sure that your Zotero account is linking across all of your devices. For this step, use the menu icon at the very top of your screen. You want to access the preferences section. For Mac users, this is located under the Zotero tab and then click on preferences. For Windows users, this is possibly under the edit tab and then click on preferences. In the preferences window, click on the sync button. Under this section where it says username, you should see two blank boxes that will allow you to enter your new username and password for the Zotero account that you just created. Enter that information and then go ahead and click add and you will now be able to sync your account across all of the different devices that you have. The other setting in this preferences window is under the site tab. You can choose your default citation style that you would like each of your resources to be formatted under. You have options such as APA, MLA, Chicago, and many more. If you're citing resources under APA, click on the American Psychological Association 6th edition. Also notice that underneath the citation option section at the very bottom, you're given the option of whether or not you want to include URLs of paper articles and references. I highly recommend that you check off this box because it will include stable URLs to all of your references, journals, magazines, newspapers, and more, which will make accessing them again so much easier. For Mac users, there is no save button, so you can just X out of this when it's done. For Windows users, you might see an OK button at the bottom of your screen. You're now ready to start saving web content to your Zotero library. I hope you find Zotero to be a powerful tool to help you collect and organize your information. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.